shaking everyone i'm back i got another video for you this thing's gonna take all night as per usual i'll probably break it up into a bunch of little 15 20 minute jobs so no one will actually watch everyone will watch one that's about it but what you see here is a huge box that i have from a comp c order that i just filled I just put the Bieber card on there to give you some kind of scale for the actual size of this box. But I'm pretty excited about it. I'm going to uh, get myself situated, have a seat, rip this box open, and uh, share it with all of you wonderful people. I'll be right back. All right, guys, what's shaking? I am now situated and ready to do this thing that I like to do so much. And that's open my mail and record it and put it on YouTube. <laughs> it's kind of what I do. I work and open mail. Anyhow, this is a big old box of cards from ComC, order that I placed. And I'll get into that in a minute. I have no idea what's actually in here. Of course, I could look it up online, but what fun would that be? I know there's a couple cards in here that my brother-in-law had me order for him. We'll get to those. Let's see what all we got here. It's a big box, man. I love getting these. I will say this. I did have a problem with ComC for the first time. Well, there's only the second shipment I've ever got from them but I had a problem and it looks like it's noted right here thanks for placing an order with us the following item is currently unavailable blah 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 82 tops card number 67 Ozzy Newsom here's a problem man what ha they held this order up for three weeks didn't ship it for three weeks when I emailed them to ask them about it, they said that uh, they said that uh, they just had a backlog with shipping and blah 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 blah, which I understand that. But then a week later, I get an email saying there's a problem with your shipment. We can't find this freaking Ozzy Newsom card. And you know, initially when I got that. When I got that email, I thought to myself, okay, well, that's cool. At least I know what the heck the problem is. I know why this order's hung up. Like I said, I got my brother-in-law waiting on a card out of there. He already paid for it. I'm starting to catch some crap. Just because people are waiting for stuff that I had in that order. Two big old heavy boxes came out of that big box. Heavy, heavy boxes from ComC. That's awesome. Anyhow, long story short, uh... They lost a card. <laughs> and I don't know about you guys, but when I'm trusting a company like ComC or there's a new one coming. I think it's called Star Stocks. But anyhow, when you're trusting a company like that, when you're just buying and selling cards online, you know, and you know, part of the appeal of ComC and I guess soon to be Star Stock. I shouldn't probably promote them because I don't know anything about them. But part of the, the appeal is that you can buy whatever and turn around and just list it right back up for sale. So if you find a really good deal on something, you can just turn around, put it right back up for sale, and uh, pure profit at that point. Wait, this doesn't look right because I know this is a 100-card order. Are you kidding me? Maybe I'm just missing something. This is taking way longer than I planned for it to take. Okay, here we go. That's what it is. Bunch of cards and uh, I thought these were all graded. Okay. As always, great packing job by Comsey. 
The only issue that I have with COMC is that they uh, lost one of my cards. The question that I have that I was starting to get into when I got sidetracked by trying to open this crap is if I'm buying cards and keeping them in, in what is more or less a bank with COMC, and the card doesn't actually exist, you know, had I not sent for that Ozzy Newsom, it's not an expensive card. Whoa, sorry guys. 81 tops Ozzy Newsom. I mean, it's not. I think it was an 81, right? 82. 82 Newsom. Not a very valuable card. But, you know, what if that would have been a, uh, I won't say a trout rookie, but, you know, what if that would have been a $50 card? What if that would have been a, an, what if that would have been a Ronald Acuna 2018 holiday Whatever, you know, what if that's a $10 Acuna that I bought that is now worth 40 bucks, and when I send for it, they don't have it. You know, they, 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 <laughs> I don't know, man. They, uh, they refunded me my original, the price that I paid for that card originally. Now, granted, 82 Newsom, price isn't going up. But, you know, what if it would have been something else? What if it would have been, you know, these cards go up week to week. What if it would have been a freaking, you know, Acuna, 2018 Acuna, pretty much any of them? You know, then what? You're going to refund me my original purchase price and call it a day? I mean, it's just, it's not right. They kept my people waiting and I don't know, man. I love ComC. I do most of the stuff that I do on ComC, really. But, I don't know, man. It rubs me wrong. It rubs me very wrong. Then they refunded me $3 for the card. Like, come on, man. Held up the whole shipment for 21 days and issued, gave me 3 bucks for the card. I don't know. I don't want to badmouth ComC because I, I really, really, really do. I'm, I'm a fan of ComC. Let me put it that way. So I don't want to badmouth them too much. But that was a pretty screwed up situation. All right. I'm going to start getting into these cards. Obviously, I've got quite a few to get through. This is gonna, this video is gonna span several videos. I think we'll start off with. Uh, I'll try to keep it fresh. We'll do uh, the graded ones that came out of that box first. Then I don't know how much time I'll have left on this video, but I'm gonna put six freaking videos up tonight. So, hope you guys are in the mood to watch me open mail. If you're not, I won't have any viewers, and I get it. But so it goes. Okay, first up out of this ComC order is my 2013 Bowman Draft Nolan Arenado rookie card. I need to get this light right. That ain't it. I just don't want the glare. Hmm. I had to move my little studio to a different room because it was taco night. And I had a bunch of Little girls eating tacos all over the damn place. And I don't know about you guys. I don't know if you have kids. But tacos and cards do not mix under any circumstance. And if you're going to have kids one day and you collect cards, heed my words. Do not have cards on the same table as children making tacos. I won't tell you how I learned that. But anyhow, 2013 Bowman Draft, Nolan Arenado, rookie card. Beckett graded at a 9. Uh, that's the other thing ComC does. They put in their little scans in the cards. So you can't even see the... You can't see the back. I don't understand... Well, I guess he plays in Colorado. Not a huge market. Well, not a big market at all. I don't understand why... Acuna's, well, I do understand why. Acuna's prices have quintupled because Gary V said something about it. But at the end of the day, Nolan Arenado is, in my opinion, probably the closest thing we have to Mike Trout as far as an active Hall of Famer. Granted, he's got to do it for a lot more years. He hasn't been doing it very long, but he does it real good, guys. 
He does it real good. I am a big Nolan Arenado fan. All right. I'm not feeling real great about this video at this point. I don't know what the hell I got going on. Next card is totally sweet. Oh, I love this card. The 1981 Top Super Action Tony Dorsett. You know, Beckett graded a six. My boy Tony D. I've got a video. I don't know. I may post it at some point. I don't think I can really get in trouble for it. But I had a long, long uh, interaction with Tony Dorsett one, one Saturday a few years back. Heck of a guy. Heck of a guy. But I have some really, <laughs> some special video that I got from that afternoon. But I don't know if I, I don't know. We'll see. I don't want to make any promises and not deliver. But here's your 81 tops Tony Dorsett super action card. You know, it's funny. Nowadays, you look at a any Panini baseball card, and the first thing you notice, there's no logo. It looks terrible. You look at these 81 top, you know, Montana, there's no logo on Montana's card. There's no logo on this, but they look, I don't know, maybe it's just because I'm so used to seeing them for my entire life that I don't think anything of it. But I think these cards still look great with no logo and no one gives a rat's ass whether Joe Montana's got a little SF on his helmet or not when it comes to that rookie card. I'm not implying that uh, the Panini baseball cards are going to, have huge value, but I think they're going to be better than what people think. I mean, who really who really cares 20 years from now whether uh, Fernando Tatis Jr. had a logo on his rated rookie card, you know? It may take some time for it to shake out that way, but I think it is going to shake out that way. Okay, next card, 100%, a personal collection card. We got the 1986-87 Fleer Mel Turpin. That's right, folks. Mel Turpin, former Cavalier. I can't even say great, but former Cavalier. He was on uh, some of those early Cavalier teams that are my first real Cavalier memories. I still haven't been able to find a Ben Poquette. I'm not sure he made had any cards made when he was with the Cavs. If you can believe that. Gentle Ben Poquette. I don't know if people actually called him that, but... I did, or I do. There you go, guys. 8687 Fleer, Mel Turpin. I am not a rookie card, not that I care. I'm probably one of the few people that own a graded Mel Turpin card, other than the Turpins. The Turpins and maybe a couple select neighbors from when he was a kid. Okay, last card for this video. This is just one of those cards that I got so inexpensive that I had to buy it. I don't, uh, I wasn't collecting when LaDainian Tomlinson was playing, so I don't really have any LT at all. And he was great. I mean, he was great. So basically, when this 06 All Pro card came became available for like a buck 85 or something crazy, I know it's BCCG, blah, blah, blah. But the card was cheap, it's LT, and I think it's pretty cool. I think it's real cool, actually. All right, I'm going to kill this video, and I'll start another one right back up after this. I do want to get the lighting fixed, and I, I guess I was kind of ill-prepared to start this. So, most of you probably tuned out because this video has been 90% me blabbering, but if I entertain you to any degree, please tune into the next video. There will be a lot more cards and a lot less me running my mouth that's it for this one i will see you soon later